WWE fires Chris Hero, a.k.a. Cassius Ono. Why can't WWE trust in smaller guys to lead their company? Hey, what's up guys? WWE Fan 2000 Geo here, back on the Kings of Kings channel. And this video is going to be titled, WWE Releases Cassius Ono. Why can't they trust in the smaller guys? Now, I'm going to read a news report, give my thoughts on it, and then uh, there's going to be the other side of the topic here on this video. Okay, so I got this this news from WrestleZone. You can go on this website for your spoilers and whatnot. Um, so the title of the article is called WWE Releases ROH Star. WWE has released Chris Hero or Cash Asona from the from his developmental contract. As Hero and Ring of Honor, Hero signed a deal with WWE in February of 2012 and was sent immediately to de developmental. It seemed like only a matter of time until he'd be called up to the main roster, but he was never it, but that call never happened. He was repackaged as Cassius Ono in NXT. He is now 33 years old and will most likely be taking booking since he is he is contractably able to. So basically what it's says is that um they released him and I heard that they uh released him because he wasn't built strong enough and he wasn't a bigger guy like your guys know like your John Cena's, your Randy Orton's, you know, your Hulk Hogan's. So it's too bad because I'm not gonna say that I know a lot about this guy, but I um after I found out about this release, I was like, hmm, Chris Hero, let me look him up. I looked up a few of his matches, and this guy is maybe, and I'm saying maybe, is better than, you know, each members of the Shield, if not better. And and this guy had some real uh, talent to put in the WWE, and they just, you know, dropped the ball with him, and that's too bad because I could see him becoming... A really big superstar in WWE. Now, let's go to the other topic of the video. Why can't WWE trust bigger guys? I just don't get it. They only trust in the big, juiced, 200 and, you know, 35... Not 235. 285-pound guys. Why can't they trust in the smaller guys? Can I just name a few of the people... There's always these rare times where they push the smaller guys... And it's always been a success. Success. Let's start off with Bret Hart. He he. Um, people call him one of the best wrestlers they've ever seen. The best there is, the best there was, the best there ever will be. He had he you know put he started to put WWE back on the map when they were in a bad point. Shawn Michaels. People call him the best wrestler ever can pull a match out of any a good match out of anyone and he became known as Mr. WrestleMania the an icon and he was one of the biggest wrestlers known today. Let's go to Edge. Edge they gave him the money in the bank briefcase he cashed it in. He's known as the rated R superstar. He he um made SmackDown uh he put SmackDown on the map. What would SmackDown be if Edge wasn't on SmackDown? And now, let's go to a late today's today's world, I guess you could say. CM Punk. CM Punk changed the WWE. He brought people back to the WWE to watch, to be entertained by it. And CM Punk was a big part of making the WWE to what it is today. And now they just give up on Daniel Bryan. Apparently they give up on this guy, Cassius Ono. And now they want to push people who are bigger, like the Big Show and John Cena. They're pushing him down our throats, like Sheamus. Why can't they pu push these guys? Dolph Ziggler has extreme amount of talent, and they're not pushing this guy. Alberto Del Rio has talent, but they're just not giving him the right gimmick. Daniel Bryan has talent. They dropped the ball with him. 
three main event pay-per-views, they screwed him all over. And this guy can put on a damn good match. And they can't push this guy, Daniel Bryan. Cody Rhodes, he's starting to get a little rub, but, you know, as soon as he's done with this tag team stuff, push him to the main event. Antonio Cesaro, this guy is unbelievably, he he is unheard of. When you have a guy who is this that strong and can do all the things this guy can do, there is n no way, you know, that this guy is just has the total package and can talk on the mic, you know, Antonio Cesaro, and they can't just push these younger guys. I just can't understand it. These smaller guys, it's all been a success. If anything, the bigger guys have been have been a um, you know, unsuccessful. I mean, look where John Cena is. The crowd hates him. They don't like him. They don't like him. And how could I forget? Another person who was not the biggest guy in the world and became a, gr a big WWE superstar. Stone Cold Steve Austin. He's not the biggest guy in the world. He doesn't have a six-pack. He's not ripped to shreds. He is, he's not that tall. And he became one of the biggest icons in the WWE. So there you go. Another guy on that list. But like I was saying, John Cena, the crowd's against him. They hate him. They don't, they dislike him. They just don't want him to be in the business anymore. And Big Show, the only reason he's getting over is because of Daniel Bryan, who is a smaller guy. And let's go to, um, I'm trying to think of people from the past. Well, also nowadays, The Rock, when they brought him back, Big Superstar, now all you see is the internet. And that fan saying, F the Rock, F the Rock, we hate the Rock, get rid of the Rock. These guys aren't working. Maybe it's time you do something different. Maybe the reason you're not getting the buy rates you think you are is because you're you're not doing something that you should be. WWE, if you're watching this video, because I know they go around watching videos, please just push one of the guys that I named on the... Just push someone like Antonio Cesar, this guy... Antonio Cesaro, Daniel Bryan, these two guys, they shouldn't be in the mid-card. They totally flopped Daniel Bryan, and Daniel Bryan is one of the biggest superstars in WWE today. These guys, they need these guys who are small. They are the more athletic ones. They are the more agile ones. The big guys are the ones who can't wrestle. The big guys are the ones who become unsuccessful, and that's why... The Attitude Era was so su successful because they pushed the younger guys. They pushed the Stone Cold. They pushed. They pushed those guys, and and they gave them a chance. Yeah, you sure you did have your Rocks and Triple H in the main event, but every now and then you'd have a Mick Foley in the main event. You'd always have a Stone Cold in the main event. You'd always, you know, you'd sometimes have the smaller guys in those in those situations. Not saying that the big guys were a fail. Because when you look at Triple H and Undertaker, they've been one of the biggest successes in WWE today. But you have to just give the smaller guys a chance. And I th think I sm speak for most of the smaller guys. So WWE, um, please try to just give these smaller guys a chance. Bring people up from NXT. Give them a chance. You know, just give them a chance. Instead of pushing Big E, who... Come to me has no talent whatsoever. When you could be pushing a Dolph Ziggler, Antonio Cesaro, and Daniel Bryan. That's it for my video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe to the King of Kings and WWE Fan 2000 Geo. All right, I'm out. Peace.